present good afternoon to each and everyone. Present good afternoon to each and everyone. I greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Okay. I was asked to do something which I've never done before. <laughs> However, I am pleased to be here um, on behalf of my dear sister, um, Virginia George. Virginia Coffee Judge, I don't want to leave out my surname. <laughs> um, she's celebrating 30 years in small business. Um, 30 years of her uh, uh, early, early child development this year. And that really entails the early upbringing of the assistance of the early upbringing of your young ones. And I know my sister is a believer. I know she believes in God. She trusts God. She obey God. So I would expect her to take care of these children from the headship of her father. Um, it's a beautiful day. We give God thanks and praise. And I see all the beautiful kids. And I haven't seen the drinks, but you get there somewhere. <laughs> So um, we thank Sister Eva for the prayer. We do all things for Christ, we turn to us. And um, we hope and pray that this short event can be a success. Um, for those who don't know me, I am Matthew Coffee. I guess most people know who I am. And as I said, I'm the sister. First born of the family. Is born of the so um, we have a short program. Uh, I think the next item on this program. Is um, a few welcome remarks from you know, this, this So I welcome you to you. joy and gratitude as we gather to celebrate a remarkable milestone in the history of the ministry, the 40th anniversary of early child development history here in Dominica. It's an honor to have you all here. It's an honor Amen. to have you all here Amen. sharing in this joyous occasion. As the owner and manager of this ministry, I can happily believe that three but 30 years have passed by so quickly. Over the years, the early child development industry has not only grown in size, but also in the hearts of our family members. It has become a place where they take their first steps towards a, a bright future where they learn, play, and make long life friends. As we look back on this journey, I am filled with deep appreciation to everyone who has been a part of our nursery story, to our staff who have nurtured and educated generations of children with love and patience. I extend my heart full, my heartfelt gratitude. Hallelujah, my heartfelt gratitude. I must also acknowledge the parents who entrusted their precious little ones you know, here. But it's not just about looking back, it's also about looking forward. As we celebrate this significant anniversary, in conclusion, as we celebrate this 30th anniversary, let us continue to make a positive impact on the lives of these children and families of Dominica. Thank you, thank you, thank you everyone. Thank you. Support the things of God. Um, the children are the children of God. And 
He said in his word, even before each and every one of us, even before we were conceived in our parents and our mother's womb, he knew us. He knew us. And then Jesus said, God said, He, the plans He had for us, are plans to prosper us. So we have to be grateful for each and every one here this afternoon. We have to show gratitude to the Father for having us here today. Amen. Okay. I would like to also um, ask the parents to continue to play their part in the upgrading of their children. And people at this nursery cannot do it all by themselves. And it's always important for to show that kind of interest. And uh, work together for the good of the children. And that is even for the glory of the Father. So at this stage, um, I think we have um, a short talk from one of the parents. Past parent. Okay, in the name of Vanessa. I'm not sure who that person is. Thank you. Thank you, officer. Uh, good afternoon, everybody, those of you here and those of you viewing on Facebook Live. Wow, Miss Coffee, 30 years. <laughs> and uh, I have four children, and they all, they all of them, even if uh, it wasn't consistent for all of them, but they all attended uh, the Early Child Development Center. And I want to say a big thank you to Miss Coffee. You know, there was never a moment that they were at that center that I was worried about my children working. You know, so uh, we went with Miss Coffey, I remember it was Mrs. Walsh and Miss Coffey, then there was Miss Pascal, Miss Lazar, if there were others, I, I don't remember the names. But this 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 four, especially Miss Coffey, you know, sometimes it wasn't even on a month to month basis, sometimes I'd call her and say, Miss Coffey, uh, boy, uh, the time for you, can you, what is it, just bring the children? You know, so it, 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 they were in primary school, they were uh, take your age, whatever it was. I called her, she was always available. My children were always very well taken care of. By the way, they sent their thank you and their regards as well, Miss Coffee. Thank you. So, if you, if you out there are viewing <clears throat> and you have a child and you're wondering, where can I send my child? Where is the best care possible? Where is it? Where is it? Where's a place that I, I don't have to worry that my children will not be safe? You can visit Early Child Development Center, um, Mrs. Virginia Cup George. I, I, I still stuck on Miss Coffee, yeah, so it's like you keep saying Miss Coffee. <laughs> Alright, but um, Miss Coffee, the care that she provides, you know, it's like her own children. I mean, I crack out some water and I say, You'll make your own do. When I go, you'll make your own do. You know? <laughs> but, um, you know, she, she, she is, she's been a mother. I mean, I've seen her, the kids would come, they would come be well, she would have them cuddled on her. And mine, oh my God, I, I thought, I, sometimes I felt like they loved her more than me. <laughs> but you know, it was, it was, it was just, it was just so amazing, the care they got. And, and okay, everybody wants to know about Noni and Frank's and everything. So it's always, you know, affordable, and she works with every parent. You know, whether you have, whether you don't have, she'll find a way to work with you. So again, Miss Cafe, 30 years, my gosh, I, I feel it only. I feel it only. My first daughter, my first daughter is, is, is going to be 29 um, in November. Miss Cafe, you want people to know how old I am? My first daughter is going to be 29 in November. My second daughter is 25. My son, my third child, is 18. My last daughter is 15. My last daughter really wasn't, you know, yeah. But the first three, yes. All right. And I, I must say that if I, gosh, it's kind of different, but if I ever had to have a baby again, something happened. <laughs> this is the first person I would think of to take care of my, you know, my children. So 30 years, it's a great accomplishment. And you did well, you did wonderfully well. I don't know any day here that is around still that is that that, that is celebrating this milestone. 
So hats off to you and your team. Congratulations and all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Lord. Um, thank you, Alyssa, for your kind words. Uh, the promotion. Yes. We have another parent by the name of Francilia, who is going to. But before we go into Francilia, for those who are viewing and they do not know where this place is located, it is in Kinfield, opposite the industrial site, next to the old mill. And on the road to Cochrane, it is on your immediate right. At the entrance to the road to Cochrane, it is on your immediate right. So you cannot miss this place. Okay? So we call on Francis here. Good evening to everyone. Thank you. 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 I guess by now everybody knows my age ago that I started off with Miss Coffee. <laughs> she was the first in the family, the first child, first daughter and granddaughter. And therefore the first one with extra eyes and careful hands, the first to protect. Soon came the end of my maternity leave and her grandmother asked worriedly, where are you going to leave my grandchild? Honestly, I did not know where I could place my first one. In whose hands would she be safe and sound and healthy? A clean place, a place with someone with extra eyes and extra hands like myself. The very next day, a grandmother told me about Miss Coffee, the woman of the hour. I went to see her and from that day to my baby girl first day of primary school, in that very newly opened daycare, she found the second room. A home where she could be safe and sound, and my heart would be at ease. After all, who would not want that for their baby? Every single day I picked her up, there was no nappy rash, no cold, no fever, no bruise on her skin. Who wouldn't be happy? I was, she was never hungry and always clean, as I would keep her. This daycare is definitely one of the best. In my opinion, it is the best. Can you imagine Miss Coffee had an area designated for children to do their homework after school? After school finished in convent prep, my daughter knew where she was going. Straight to Miss Coffee she would go to do get her work done. My daughter is proof of the care and compassion that Miss Coffee puts on to daily. From convent prep to convent high, graduated at university with a bachelor in marketing, now using her education to help her country. Uh, she attended Miss Coffee. Thank you. Wow. We started out there. Thank you, Miss Coffee. Thank you, Miss Coffee, for what you have done and continue to do. Thank you for always putting out your best and doing all in your home for your children in your care to excel. You have done it and with God by your side, you will do more. We love you and we'll continue to love you. Amen. 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 Okay. It's a wise thing to invest in the things of the Lord. And this moment is really not about Virginia of the judge. Our purpose should be on the great I am. He is the one that caused and contributed to the business to allow us to be able to be here today and having listened to the inspiring words from the parents that tells us that this is the place to be. This is the place to 
have your children uh, attend at a very early age. Now we must continue to keep each other in prayer. We must pray for the owner of the daycares, pray for the teachers. And that in itself will strengthen you know, the success of, of, of this place. Um, at this time, we're going to open the floor for any parent who has something to say at this moment. So this is your moment to come forward to say who you are and to give you a little peace. But before, I, before anybody comes forward, I heard Vanessa said, uh, the first child is 50 years old. 29. 29. But I recall, I recall my sister was also one of the first parents who had a child nature um, by my sister. And this is um, my sister, I know, Brenda, I think her son is 50 years as well. So this is a milestone. So fortunately, she's not here. I would like her to be here to at least um, she approves with us on, on such an occasion. So the floor is open for anybody who wants to share. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Dignette. Congratulations, my dear. You see this lady there? She's a princess. This lady, she has, she has a, a welcoming spirit. You know, she's very approachable. And then, if you, you talk to her, whatever your situation is, she will always find a solution. She will turn you back. And so I appreciate her. I thank God for her. I have two children. My daughter is 28, my son is 20. And we don't have this stuff. Imagine I was preparing something for her and I'm trying to remember her marriage. I said, I couldn't remember. So I say, you know what? She will always be Miss Coffee. So I put Miss Coffee. And um, my children, we, she was in tongue, I think. Um, when you start? You know, we, we started somewhere in tongue now. Yeah. So my children started there. And even as the, my daughter came in, my son was there as, a, as a, a little boy. And my daughter, she was older when she joined. So I, I had to go to class and I had to go back to school. What I is even after work, I would just take my children there. They would do their homework. They were always looking forward. You know, sometimes you put your children in areas or you have care for your children and they, they don't want to go, you know? But my children were always willing to go up the steps of this coffee. And so I am very thankful to God for her. I pray for you. It's really a milestone. And I just pray and ask God. Give us strength. Give us staff. Give us strength. Give her the courage. Give her the determination to continue. And we know she's a, a lady of God. And whenever God is on your side, Everything will be fine. So once again, my dear, congratulations. All the best. The sky is the limit. <laughs> 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 okay, well, I know George because she was the one that took care of me. And I see she did a fantastic job to after the afternoon. And now I brought my child home to the bad take your stories. You can ask, I actually left the very first day crying when I dropped my baby off. And when I came to pick him up, he had the brightest smile. He was so energetic. 
Then the very next day, he didn't even want to check me. Then now he played shy for me. I can definitely see she's nurturing me with love. We have no complaints. And anybody listening out there, if you do have a baby, if you do have a child, I do recommend early childhood nursery because it is definitely the best. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, something just stood on my mind. This, to take your child to in the care and, 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 and allow your child to be in the care of somebody for the entire day at that very tender age is a serious decision. And having heard some of the parents, it tells me that this place is really a place to entrust your children um, and be in, be, in, be in nature. However, we know of some unfortunate incidents with regards to children being at daycares and so on. And we can give God thanks so far. After 30 years, we have none to report, unless there is one I'm not aware of. But, um, unless the said has confirmed that there is none. And there will be none in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So that is why it is very important to make God the center of everything. Because without Him, things will go, you know. So I want to encourage you all to do all things under the headship of the Lord. Um, there is someone among us here we have been waiting for. I see she just arrived. So, without any better Hello, everybody. Hello. Congratulations. So, I'm Shema John. And 16 years ago, I brought my son to Miss Coffee. I knew nothing about her. It was a matter of convenience for me because she was pretty close to the bus stop. So on my way home, she was in tongue at the time. But once I brought him there, the next day I felt quite pleased, satisfied. She was always about all the spoken, speaking about God. We used to have good conversations. My daughter also fell in love with her. My daughter is 21 now. So that is to show you how long ago that was. My son still remembers her. I'm not sure if it's because I'm always speaking about Miss Coffee, Miss Coffee, but he will come and he will say Miss Coffee. He was on his way with me, but then he had to go to practice. So he sent all his love to you. So we love Miss Coffee very much. I would like to encourage parents out there, if you are interested in having your child at a daycare, Miss Coffee, I will wholeheartedly recommend Miss Coffee. My little cousin, KK, Kayana, she also went there. So any parent I know with a newborn baby needing to return to work, not sure where to put their child, she's located at Kenfield, close to the old mill. So come speak to Miss Coffee, you will love her. She's very spiritual. She will take care of your child. Her fees are still reasonable, I think. She had very reasonable fees at the time. So we really, really want to congratulate Miss Coffee for still continuing with the daycare after 30 years. So that in itself is a milestone with no issues of anything happening to children. So let us give Miss Coffee a big round of applause. And my son was practically raised at home by my aunts and then with my mom. And when he was two, we decided that we needed to get him ready for um, preschool. So, to get him familiar with sharing and socializing and so on, we brought him here. He was recommended, this daycare was recommended by my co worker, Marconi. 
And I also know one of the sisters, Brenda, who is the wife of one of my other co-workers, so I felt very comfortable. But once I dropped scale on here, after two days, all crying stops. Because it was the first time that he was breathing daily, so I expected him to cry for a longer period. But two days and that was it. And I have never stopped hearing about Miss George from last year, September, to now. He's at preschool and every time we pass by, Miss George, Miss George, Miss George. At one point I started to feel very bad. <laughs> I said, my child doesn't love me anymore. Every day is Miss George. Mommy, can you call Miss George? Miss George, Miss George. I would ask to send messages to call. So I knew that Kaylan was loved. I knew that he was well taken care of. And even times that I would get caught up at school, I would call her and it would be no problem, even if I was a bit lost. The only thing I've been criticizing was called to inform, and she was, it was never a problem for her. So, Mrs. George, everybody saying for me, but I'm new school, so <laughs> <laughs> congratulations on your milestone. It was a pleasure having my son here, and if God wishes and I have any more, <laughs> I will wear that child before. Oh, so <laughs> <you're nice. laughs> Okay, I saw the smile on Mr. George's face. <laughs> the last spirit remembered that she's Mrs. George. But she's still Mrs. George. <laughs> that can't be risked. Um, at this point, we do to have a good And I think. Um, We have identified one by the name of Lydia, who will um, conduct that segment of the school Lydia, can you come forward? Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, congratulations to my sister-in-law on her 30 years of running this um, early childhood center nursery, whichever name we want to attach. But it takes a very special person to be in the business for 30 years. It takes a person with love, it takes a person with patience, it takes a person with understanding, and most of all, it takes a person with God's love in their heart that they can give it to other person's children. Um, because I'm in the education field for years on end now, I can say that foundation is very important and what Miss George is doing is indeed important because what she's forming, what she's molding is really a good foundation so that the children when they go into the preschool system, they have already received the foundation that they need to get them prepared for the schooling system because she doesn't only take care of the children, wipe their nose, give them their bottles and what have you. She even impacts manners, she nurtures them, she ensures that they have the good graces that they need when they enter into the system. Um, again, um, one of the things that shows the love that she has and the commitment that she has for what she does is when she came up to Grand for newly, um, I used to wonder, I, I think I said to her one time, why do you all leave so early? Because they would leave like six. So I'm saying, but the roads are good. What is the point of living so early? But she lives early so that she's here on time to receive her children. She doesn't want to be after her children or for people to be here waiting. She wants to be there to receive the children with love and that is one of the examples, one of the situations I have seen where she is committed to what she's doing. So again, 30 years is an amazing milestone. It takes a special person. So we know that you are a special person. Everybody who comes in contact with you, Feel your love, feel your energy, feel your commitment, and every child who has gone under your care is indeed blessed because they were blessed by you from the Father above. So we thank you for what you are doing. You are indeed making a good contribution to our country, Dominica, for the children that you have cared for. So we thank you and we love you for that. Congratulations and we love you.
Congratulations to the Early Childhood Development Ministry as they celebrate 30 year anniversary. Thank you. 